Lulu Penny, Panda Palace. Hey, Lulu. Oh, hello, Lulu. Today, Keeper Lisa is going to do some sessions with the Red Pandas to get their weights. From this perspective, Lulu looks massive. Now, Lulu is trying really hard to be helpful, meaning she's not being helpful in the slightest. So it looks like Lisa is utilizing the tongs with grapes as a reinforcement tool. We use positive reinforcement in all of our training. So when Lulu hits the right behavior or stands where she's supposed to, she's rewarded with her favorite treat, grapes. Well, she's doing a great job. Lulu is weighing in at 4.6 kilograms converts to 10.14 pounds. Woo! Once again, trying to help, and she's not being very helpful. Now Keeper Lisa is target training Lulu on the hammock. Hey Penny, it's Penny's turn. Okay. He's like, nah, I don't want to get my weight today. And that's okay. We'll try again later. There's Coco. Give me that. I want grape. And grape she got. Right now, a milk crate is being used as a station. Stations are specific spots that we ask the red pandas to go to, and they're used to train other behaviors. Coco is also receiving grapes, but unlike Lulu, she likes to savor that taste in her mouth and she takes her time chewing while Lulu gulps them down. Oh, wow. Coco is demonstrating a great standing behavior, which helps really get an accurate weight. How much is she coming in at? 5.1 kilograms, which converts to 11.24 pounds. She's the biggest of the three sisters. And apparently, getting more food to get bigger. <laughs> what? Don't you eat after you weigh in? That's the appropriate way to do this, right? <laughs> it's really important for the carrot team to get regular weights on all of our animals, including the red pandas. Weights are a great indicator of the well-being and health of an animal. So for example, if they dropped weight suddenly or they gained weight suddenly, it would be a signal to the keepers that they have to reach out to the vet department. It's fun because at this point we've learned a lot about their personality differences. Looks like there's some construction going on. Our teams are getting the outdoor habitats ready for our sisters to enjoy. This is a team effort between our animal care departments and horticulture. The horticulture team helps by cutting down select branches that are then brought to site and put together by the animal care team to create amazing perching for the animals. The red pandas are going to love to climb all over those branches. I can't wait to see them experience their outdoor habitat for the first time. Stay tuned. We'll see you next week on Pan